Hey world, it's yours truly, Route Combo, aka the Professor on the Six. I'm bringing you all a ranked match on the road to top 100. This should be game three. I'm taking the 49ers and my opponent took the um, Texans. I took the 49ers mainly because a lot of people I run into that play with the Texans run Ar Arian Foster to death and, and he falls forward and, and he's, he's a load to bring down. And, you know, it... it Run defense can be tough this year if you don't play with a team that uh, can actually stop the run. I got kind of lucky right there. I was able to um, get the touchdown. His guy just didn't react. Just bad AI. Uh, but, it, I mean, it can definitely be pretty tough. It's, <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's going to run this back for a touchdown and tie it up. Uh, I think that's Lockett, yeah. He's not able to bring him down. But what what is this? I'm showing you another another kick return. And as you, as you see, Ted is either going to fumble the ball in here or he's going to take it to the crib. And he, he breaks a tackle. Oh, yeah, look at that nice little cut. Good blocking. And, oh, my goodness, uh, freaking flag. These refs, man, come on. So I get a call for holding. So instead of back-to-back back, uh, back -back kickoff or uh, touchdown returns by both teams, uh, I get holding. And in the very next play, I throw an interception on a fade route from, from gun doubles. Kaepernick had an overthrow. And he gets a pickoff, but as you see, my opponent, um, he, he did this quite a few times during this game. Uh, he would he would, he would run the ball with Foster, catch the ball, and kind of run backwards and, and try to reverse field and uh, catch me off guard. But whenever you're on all pro and you can just hold the A button, which is just defensive assist, that's not going to work, and you're not going to outrun Patty Willis. Uh, so you know he did that a few times, and he lost a lot of yardage a couple times. You see a second goal from 21 just because of that, and then that's why I cannot stand uh, deep blue zones. Um, you see Whitner is in the back of the end zone and said, and, and so that C route just gets open. But j just for the simple fact, see that's when you want when you want to swerve. You see what I did with Kaepernick. Like whenever you're running towards the sideline and you feel like your opponent's going to dive at you, that's when you kind of take that side step and go back a step, and then you can go forward and and, and push push along. And, and that's when you need to do that. That's, that's uh, instead of just running backwards and reversing field like that. Um, but those deep blue zones just kill me. Because he's winners are literally in the back of the end zone, so he leaves that void, and that guy just picks it off. Uh, you know they have to have better awareness whenever they see, uh, you know they see a player coming in front of them in the end zone. They should step up because there's no one else behind them, so there's no uh, no threat of that. Because all it is is they'll run up back in the end zone. Uh um, and you see right there, it's fourth down. I <laughs> I didn't take my field goal. I was I was pretty mad because you know the kickoff return that got called back. He returned the kick. Uh, and then I threw a pick. He got another touchdown off something that I did not did not like, and so I went for it. And did not pay off. But you see right here, fourth and inches. I was able to get the stop. Uh, Vernon Davis held on. I'm just going to do QB sneak to get in. Tie it up at 14-14. So I'm right back in, in this ball game. I did not fall behind too far because I got that that crucial stop and then that touchdown. And so so once again, you know, he just he left himself open for a big hit right there. Which which was not smart because he was trying to reverse the field and you know do the whole swerve thing. So luckily did not uh, he didn't fumble there. Then he just threw up a deep bomb, got the touchdown. Then he goes for an onside kick up in the second quarter. Oh man, this is gonna be a long game. I can already tell. So now I'm even more frustrated. Yeah, not nice little juke by Lockett to get second in inches. Just wanted to pick up the first down. I came out on goal line just to the power o. Um, trying to hit him with the counter because he he ran a couple of some he's run some coverage defense on me. Uh, didn't go anywhere. Hit him with the FL screen. He got really nice blocking. Take it down to the five yard line. I need to score a touchdown and, and make it 21 21. And this is where I make a crucial mistake. Instead of going in the end zone, I wanted to waste the time or make him waste some time out. So I kind of go down to the two yard line thinking it's going to be easy to get in. I do not get in. He got a block shed or his uh, lineman. I think JJ Watt just came screaming in. And boom, look at this. Uh, at, you know, the title of this video is, you know, is you know how to bait and so I do this a couple times this game I'm just gonna change change subjects right here and, and what you're gonna want to do is you know once you kind of get the tendencies of your opponent is he hits me with a deep bomb to Andre Johnson right before halftime um, just gotta try to hold him the field goal but once you, what you want to do you know I think God Thumbs is the best <laughs> baiter in Madden this year or you know against me at least probably because I play him so often you see right here I baited him once again um, and then Addy cards uh, it, it was the best in NCAA, especially when he used USC and Taylor Mays. He, if he's watching this, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, I loved watching his videos back in the day. And you know, he got the Celine Dion music in the background after he would just just bait people in the throws and strafe up and pick. Man, I I miss the strafe button so much. 
Um, but what you, what you're gonna want to do is once you kind of get the tendencies of your opponent, uh, you know, my the tendency of this opponent was it, he would he would throw a streak pass, a big fourth down stop right there. But he he had a running back and uh, tied in from the right side, being go on streak routes, and you know, and he seemed to always throw it to that running back uh, or that tight end. On, the, on that streak route on the right side, I never looked to the left side, so I would take one step to the left and act like I'm, act like I'm covering that left uh, tight end, and then shoot to the right, and and you hold down the Y button the whole time, or you hold down the Y button right when you start shooting to the right, and just hold it down the whole time, and once he throws it, you get the, you get the pick animation, and, and you see right there, I was able to do it twice this game, uh, and you know it, it, it's effective. It's just you see right there once again he's going to the, that running back streak route, you know just. People are predictable online. People are predictable in real life. People are predictable in everything they do, uh, you know. And so, once again, he just hits me up top for a touchdown. That's just sad. So I, I I'm down by, um, oh, I'm down uh, up by ten points. He gets the onside kick, and look at that. He <laughs> bats the ball to himself, catches the ball, and I guess he thought he dropped it. You know, went to scratch his head or do something, and so he didn't move forward. His controller might have died. He might have thrown. Uh, who knows what what happened. Uh, but he didn't go for it. He could have got a touchdown, I think, out of it. So, playing a little coverage, he just throws right into my man. Once again, nothing was open at all. He just People just throw right at my uh, my defenders, and they just don't react. And once again, like, what do you? what's the point of doing that? You're just asking for to get big hit. You're not going to go anywhere. And, you know, not smart on his part. Um, so, he's, he's down by three points. He gets the onside back, but it didn't go far enough, so I was able to recover that. Thankfully, my goodness, we would have got that and would have made me max. I pretty much have this game all in hand. It's just all, these onside kicks keep on giving him, uh, you know, gave him extra possessions to get right back in the game. Manningham takes his man for a ride to the one yard line, which I was thankful for because you know it can be tough scoring uh, inside the red zone. Once again, just running backwards for no reason. He's, you know, luckily he didn't get it. He he hasn't got any big hits yet and fumbled and coughed up the ball. So I'm up ten points, looking pretty good. Uh, you know, I had two awesome strafes, and you know that's definitely how you, how how you need to bait. You know, just just you know lurk one route and then go back to the net, to what you think where he thinks he's going to throw it, and most likely they're going to throw, and you're going to get a pick out of it. Uh, you saw two plays ago. He he just threw right at my users, and you know this year you can't strafe up, and you know he he gets the completion because I'm holding Y and I don't get an animation. This makes me so mad. So fourth and one right here. He looks like he's not going here. Patty Willis. You can, Hits him hard and he somehow falls forward. Matt Schaub, oh my goodness! So he picks up the fourth down. So we got him at third down and ten. And a couple of filled screen passes, playing all that coverage defense in the red zone. Finally, after like ten seconds, got a block shed and got the sack. He settled for his field goal, which was smart. Down by seven, he needs to get this onside kick, and it doesn't look like he's going to. Brooks is going to catch it. And oh my goodness, man! This is twice now. So he's got two onside kicks. Down by seven points. This game would would have been over, but. You know, Madam wants to give him some onside kicks, which you know is going to happen. Hits me with a nice out route. Stop Andre Johnson on the seven yard line. He needs a touchdown. Um, I, I, I send a blitz because I feel like he's going to run a draw play. And what do you know? Bait. <laughs> oh man, just baited him again into another another uh, pick. Maybe another pick six. Uh, not nah, Andre Johnson going to catch him. But um, if you saw once again, I, I I took one step to the left and then boom went shot back right because he's thrown to the right. Uh, from that tight end spot a couple different times, and was able, and really that's what won me the game is uh, him being predictable, and and just falling for the baits. And so hope y'all learned learned something from from defense and just hold down that wide button, man, hold down that block. And so he's just throwing up prayers, down by ten points, nothing to it. Now now he hits me with a smart out out route, which is smart because I'm just in uh, cover two man under, you know, from the quarters. Just don't want to give up a touchdown. Hits me with the corner route. Uh, throws up a lob. He catches it, but he catches it in bounds. And I don't know if he realized that. He wasted some time. Nothing happened that first down. I cut that play out. Hits me with the field goal. So only six seconds left. He has to get this to even throw up a Hail Mary. He does not sell it. Actually gets this one this time. And I'm just going to kneel it out. Get the win. So we're on our way to the top 100. Plus eight points right there. So hope you all enjoy this. And like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you all on the stick.